Okay, assalamualaikum everyone. Today we are going to continue with our lesson, uh, which is still in Unit Two, Life's Great Mysteries, and we are going to focus on writing skill on page twenty six and twenty seven. Okay, page twenty six and twenty seven. Okay, writing. So, stories making it life-like. Stories contain description, action and people. You can make the reader care more about what happens to your characters by making them come to life and seem real. Two ways to do this are by writing what they say or think and by describing how they feel. So, in order for you to do this, you have to have lots of vocabularies. In term of the verbs, the adverbs, as well as the adjective. Okay, if you have those kinds of vocabularies inside your mind, then that would be better. Okay, that would be easier for you to describe the things, to describe the story that you have inside your mind. Okay, so this is what I ask you to do. Uh, question number one: Complete these sentences with a suitable verb and adverb to describe how the characters from different stories say something. So look at the verbs and adverbs in the table. Okay, the first, uh, the first part here: yeah, verbs, kata kerja, scream, shouted, sigh, told, whispered. Okay, and then. Adverbs angrily, decisively, excitedly, happily, and nervously. So think about which verb and which adverb suit the, uh, the sentence. Okay. For example, the first one, she tiptoed into the old dark house. So think about it. Which one? She tiptoed. So dia dengan langkah dengan berhati-hati tu kan takkan lah dia nak scream kan takkan nak shouted. Okay. So think about it. Okay. Now let's discuss the answers. Okay, the first one. She tiptoed into the old dark house. Hello, is anyone here? She. She whispered. Nervously. Okay, we can imagine the situation. She entered the old dark house. So of course. She has to whisper nervously. Hello, is anyone here? Okay, like that. Now number two, someone's coming to save us. Shouted the boy excitedly. Okay, imagine you are being kidnapped, for example. So when someone is coming to save you, for sure you would shout excitedly. Okay, qu uh, question number three. Leave me alone, okay? Leave me alone. She screamed angrily. Okay, look at the exclamation mark. Okay, she screamed angrily. Question number four. I am going to win this race. He told himself decisively. Okay, I am going to win this race. Like trying to motivate, uh, motivate himself. Okay. Now, number five, this has been the best day of my life. So, this will be the last one. Lah. She sighed happily. Okay, this has been the best day of my life. Okay, move on to the second question. Now, complete these sentences with a suitable adjective to describe how the characters from different stories feel. Remember, I told you just now, in order for you to write a good story, you have to have the vocabularies, especially in terms of verb, the adverb, and adjective. Okay, so that's why these kind of exercises, question number one and two, is actually good for you. Okay, to level up your vocabulary. Okay, for you to uh, enhance the number of vocabularies that you have inside your mind. Okay, so we have astonished, desperate, exhausted, relief, and terrified. I am sure that we don't have to discuss the meaning of the word because if you have 
a problem in understanding the meaning you can always pause my video and then try to find the meaning via google or perhaps uh, via your online dictionary okay okay so let's discuss the answer Nick was astonished. I can't believe it. He said, "Okay, so that would be the first one." Number two, Amy's hands shook with fear as she picked up the phone. She was terrified. Okay, number three, thank goodness I have found it at last," said John. "I am so relieved." Number four, he had been so determined to get to the top of the mountain, but now he was too. Exhausted to go any further. Okay, last one. She felt desperate. There must be something I can do to help. She thought. Okay, for this one, ah, uh, because I already asked you to do question number two, so that's why I don't give you any time for you to, ah, uh, for you to do this task because I already asked you to do it just now. Okay. So if you have any problem, you can always ask me. Yeah? Or if you haven't, if you haven't done question number one and two, then before I let you check the answers, ah, uh, pause the video, pause the video first so that you can do it on your own. Okay, so now we are reaching the writing task. Yeah, number three. Read this writing task and discuss the questions below it in class. You have seen this announcement in an English language magazine. Okay, so imagine that you have seen this kind of announcement. We are looking for stories for our magazine. Your story must begin with this sentence. And knocked on the door of the house. She was determined to find out who lived there. Your story must include an old woman and a surprise. Okay, so that would be the two points that you have to include in your writing. Okay, so now write your story, one hundred forty to one hundred ninety words. But this is not your task. This is simply an example for you to to understand the writing task better. Okay, question number one. Can you think of one or two different kinds of stories you could write in answer to this writing task? Okay, in order for you to do this, um, pause the video first and think about it. Think about one or two different kinds of stories that you can actually write, or in simpler words, try to draft this kind of story. If you have to include an old woman and a surprise, what could it be? For example, maybe when Anne knocked on the door, she found out that the old woman was actually a ghost. Okay, that's why she was surprised. Or maybe you can say that the old woman turns ah、uh, turned out to be herself. Maybe she traveled to a a different timeline. That's why she was surprised. Okay, you have your own idea. I'm sure that you have your own idea. So. Be confident with yourself. Okay, and then what feelings might the characters experience? For sure, when we talk about surprise, that means the character will be very shocked. Okay, dumbfounded or astonished. Okay, depends on the situation that you have in your writing. Okay, let's continue. Okay, read the story that was written in answer to the question in three and answer the questions below it. Okay, so FYI for number four, this is the answer for question number three. The story in the box is actually the answer for question number three. So that's why just now I mentioned to you that is not your writing task. That is only for you to understand the writing task better. Okay, so let's look at the story here. Okay, ah,、uh, read it on your own. Okay, let's read it together. Anne knocked on the door of the house. She was determined to find out who lived there. She had recently moved from America to the small village and had often admired the house' beautiful rose garden. 
She knocked again nervously. There was still no answer, but a wonderful sweet smell of cooking was coming from the kitchen. Someone must be here, she thought hopefully. Just then, she heard a soft cry. Help me, please. She ran to the back of the house and pushed her way through the back door in panic. An old lady was lying on the kitchen floor. I fell over and I think my ankle's broken, she explained weakly. After calling for an ambulance, Anne comforted her. As she struck the old lady's soft white hair, she was astonished to see a birthmark on her neck. It was exactly the same shape as hers. Much later, they found out that the old lady was actually her great aunt Elizabeth. After that, Anne spent many happy, many happy evenings in the house, listening to old family stories and eating delicious cake. So that is the story. Let's look at the question now. Question number one. Does the writer explain the situation in the given sentence? Okay, explain the situation. Question number two. Does the writer include both points asked for in the task? Okay, question number three. How many different feelings does an experience in the model story? Circle any words or phrases that show us how she feels. Okay, so think about these questions. Yeah, the three questions that we have here. If you need more time, you can always pause this video. Think about it. Did the writer explain the situation? Did the writer include the points? Okay, think about it. Pause this video first so that you can have some time for you to think. And if you are ready, let's continue with the answers. Okay, question number one. Of course, yes, you can see even in the first but yeah, and knock on the door of the house. She was determined to find out who lived there. So that was the given situation. Okay, question number two. Does the writer include both points? Yes, as well. Because uh, just now, uh, in the writing task, we are asked to include an old woman as well as a surprise. So, uh the old woman, okay, the old lady is one of the characters in the story here. As well as uh, the surprise, uh, you can see that she found out that the old lady was actually her great aunt Elizabeth. So that was the surprise. Okay, how many different feelings does an experience? The answer is six. Okay, now circle any words or phrases. Hopefully, you did this part already because just now I already asked you to pause the video. If you haven't, then pause the video now. If you do, then let's discuss the answers. Number one, we have uh, she was determined. Number two, uh, nervously. And then hopefully. And then in panic. And then she was astonished. And last one, she was happy. Okay, so those are the different feelings that Anne experienced in the model story. Okay, those are the those are the words or phrases that show us how she feels. Okay, let's continue. Okay, class number five. Another way to bring your story to life is to use some of the five senses. Okay, remember just now, uh, they told you that, uh, the book told you that uh, to bring our story to life, we have to use lots of descriptions. Okay, this is another way. We have to use some of the, some of the five senses such as sight, hearing, smell, taste, touch in your description. Underline examples of these in the model story. Okay, so this is the model story. Now, you have to think about the five senses, yeah? Sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. Okay, so pause the video so that you have some time to think. Okay, some time to think about um, uh, the, the five senses that the writer put inside this model story. Okay, pause the video first. And if you are ready, let's continue.
Okay, if you are ready, let's continue. The first one we have admired the house beautiful rose garden when you say admired yeah so that means you are seeing that beautiful rose garden in front of you so sight okay number two a wonderful sweet smell of cooking was coming from the kitchen so the sense would be smell okay and then heard a soft cry so that will be hearing stroke the the old lady's soft white hair so stroke the old lady's soft white hair would be touch. Uh, okay, she was astonished to see a birthmark. Okay, see a birthmark sight. Another one. Okay, and then in the house, listening to old family stories. So again, hearing. And the last one, eating delicious cake. Touch. So when you think about it, although the story seems pretty simple. Okay, not that long, but um, the writer managed to explain many things. Okay, managed to put many descriptions using the senses, using the, the verbs and adverbs and adjective as well. Okay, so this is actually a very good story. Simple but powerful because a good story a powerful story can actually allow you to imagine the whole situation in this case even though the writer used simple words okay simple sentences but you can actually imagine the whole situation okay let's continue with uh, another part uh, which is a uh, question number six yeah now imagine you are on a beach in the summer with a partner discuss ideas for each of the five senses hearing sight smell taste and touch okay so in order for you to do this what you have to do is again pause the video if you want to discuss with your friends then it's up to you call them okay Call your partner and then discuss about the ideas for each of the five senses. If you want to try this one on your own phone, it's okay. It's up to you. Okay. When we talk about senses here, hearing, sight, smell, taste and touch. That means you have to imagine. Imagine this situation. You are on a beach in the summer. You are on a beach in the summer, so think about what you would hear, what uh, you would see, what you would smell, okay? Those things that uh, you can actually experience if you are on a beach in the summer, okay? So, if you need time for you to do this one, uh, simply pause the video. If you are ready, let's continue. Okay, language bank, yeah, language bank. Uh, here they posted the phrases and the words that you can actually use for you to uh, write your uh, essay later, your, your story later, okay. The time expressions, the feelings, okay, the ways of speaking or thinking, and last one would be the senses. Okay, so study the language bank. Again, pause the video and study the language bank or you can always refer to your textbook. Okay, refer to your textbook and then choose the best one for you to include in your story later. Which one do you think are suitable with your story? Okay, number seven, read this writing task and use the plan and the language bank to help you write your story. When you have finished your story, check your work carefully. You have seen this announcement in a new English language magazine for young people. Can you write a story for our new magazine series? Your story must begin with this sentence. As Mark was about to throw away the old bottle, he saw that there was a piece of paper inside it. Your story must include a message or map uh, and then a surprise. So this is your writing task. Okay, this is your writing task. 
write your story 140 to 190 words the plan would be okay for paragraph one you have to setting the scene and explaining the given sentence okay the given sentence to yang as mark was about to throw away the old bottle tu lah okay and then for paragraph two and three you have to uh, uh, mention uh, you have to insert the action and description what actually happened okay and the descriptions as well remember the verbs okay the adverbs and the adjective uh, and then you can uh, put the senses as well and then for paragraph 4 ending okay for this one there are only four paragraph because the story is not that long yeah 140 to 190 words okay so imagine kalau 200 words to maybe like 50 words per paragraph so this one pun uh, simpler okay 40 words only per paragraph tu okay so download this would be the tips yeah make sure you include all points asked for in the task your story will be more lifelike and interesting if you describe how your characters feel give them something to say or think use some of the five senses in your description so download ni uh, simply uh, apa dia repeat uh, they repeat all the things that we discussed just now okay continue oh that's all so that would be your writing task lah okay that would be your writing task question number seven if you have any question then please ask me you have one week okay one week for you to finish this work you have uh the time now as well as our tutorial class later so please do this task do this writing task as well as other tasks okay other tasks that i have given since the start of our odl okay online distance learning i hope that you will do all the tasks i ask you to do uh, because that is part of our online class okay and inshallah if everything goes to plan we will see each other uh, after our sem break yeah so we will see each other later inshallah okay so that's all for today thank you very much for watching this video hopefully this video helps and uh, if you have any question, simply ask me, okay? Simply message me. Thank you very much, students.